So this is a Metrohit coil test on a 90 kilowatt motor wired in delta at this moment in time. First two connections are on U and V phases. And now we're going to test the inter-turn fault function on the Metrohit coil so it's set up onto the coil test down there. Let's buy a spray. If we can get the light right. The world test. Not very stable. There. Discharges the voltage. Change connection over. So second test. Quite a bit more stable. Now change over. Final connection. There. So that's now U and W. Go back to the meter. And you can see at the top there as well. It's already said a little bit of difference. To the final test. Fifty-three point one. Okay, a bit of difference there of above ten percent. The motor is now wired up in star. First two connections on UV. And we'll go for the coil test again. It doesn't seem to work. And the motor is wired in star. Hmm. wired straight across UW connection VW connection and then UV connection so the winding is there the coil test doesn't work and we have to test it for longer you can hear it clicking away testing pulsing away. But it can't give me a reading. Okay, we'll disconnect that and we'll try it on its own. Okay, we've now set things back up and we've taken out the shorting straps and we are now just windings on our own. Connected up for U winding for the first test. No winding checks. They've all got resistance, so uh, oops. Stop jumping about on the U phase there. Up and we'll change the motor over to V phase. Now V phase winding. And we're down here. Test again. <laughs> yeah, the final winding will be W. Actual cut over there and up over onto the last one. Um, 
So final phase reading. Nice, and you can see the differential jumping around. Discharges, differential of 15%, which is indicating an end turn fault height. So, uh, yeah, not sure about it. Not sure about it at all. Don't understand why it doesn't work in Star, but we shall try any other motor.